What's going on everyone? So for today I have an Ibanez RG8 guitar I just recently picked up. Um, pretty sweet, cheap Ibanez 8 string guitar. Got a nice neck on it. Uh, five piece. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, five piece. Um, sweet fretboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mod this guitar. I'm going to completely disassemble it. Take pickups out, bridge out, take the neck off tuning hardware um then i'm going to sand it down i'm going to keep this white kind of background and do a pour paint over it my wife's going to help me with that she does some really cool pour paints um probably do the headstock also then i'll reassemble it um get some new pickups in there probably move the volume knob to where the tone knob is delete the tone knob put a kill switch where the volume knob was um new bridge new nut some new tuning hardware um, and just mod it out and have a fun project. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start taking this bad boy apart. the bridge got it off um, still looks pretty good gonna give it a good cleaning for sure and that's what we got under the bridge um, looks like a ground wire there I'm guessing pretty basic stuff get all these guys out too cool. Looks like some um, painter's tape on there. I guess that was to help keep these aftermarket knobs on. They're pretty cool knobs though, may keep them on the new build, I don't know. We'll see. So we got the whole um, wiring stuff out. Got our volume pot and our tone pot. Uh, Found way selector. Three-way, I guess. May reuse this. I'm not sure. Let's see what, what where it goes.
so before I started painting this guitar I had put clay in it here and here here and some toothpicks and in the back I used clay and tape which I didn't like that good so I tried just clay on top so now I'm just going to be removing it really happy with how all the paint turned out my wife did a great job on it so let's go
right so now we're going to install the bridge and I've got a hip shot bridge for the RGA is supposed to be a direct replacement um, for the stock bridge this is the stock bridge for comparison so it's all rusted up so we're gonna change it out and see how it goes hopefully it's direct replacement looks like it's just four screws so here we go We're done, went in super easy. Same uh, four holes, you can see there. Oh yeah, so hopefully all the uh, string holes line up, but we'll find, find out. Oh yeah, hip shot. All right, we're gonna condition the, clean and condition the fretboard now with some of this F1 oil. Half of it done now. You can see it's already looking a lot better. Just getting all that kind of out of it. pickups in here, they're passive pickups, um, made in Italy, a dude named Diego, made him, I think he did a great job, I talked to him about wanting something in the bridge like the ionizer, so he hooked up and like hand wound, hand wound something, turned out really cool, excited to hear it, and then we got the messenger for the neck pickup. Alright, so let's get it.
we got our gorilla pickups in place here. And our hip shot bridge. Now we're gonna get them all soldered up. Um, I got a DiMarzio push pull for the volume. And um, Diego recommended I used a 250K, I believe. Yeah, 250K. Um, so I'm gonna go with that push pull. And he was cool enough to make me a um, wiring diagram for the pickups, also. So, and then I've also got a Tessie um, input jack we're going to try to put in. If that doesn't work out, I'm going to go with the one I took out of the original. And then we've got, um, of course, the Tessie kill switch we're going to install. And I picked this up from Tessie. This is just a standard uh, three-way um, selector switch. All right, so let's get to it. So it looks like this is a little bit um, bigger than that, so I have to make the hole slightly bigger. Alright, so I got the hole routed big enough, I just used the step bit, um, just did it by hand so I didn't fuck the paint up, it didn't have a lot more to go. So the next thing I noticed is with this push pull, it's got this little tab here, I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm just going to bend it over, get it out the way here, so. And the idea is to just bend it flat. That's the neck, according to Diego's diagram. We still got to run the grounds and stuff to pick up selector, but all right, let's go for the bridge. All right, so this is what we got so far. Um, now we're going to get the um, input jack and pickup selector into play and go from there.
so now we're gonna break out this uh, Tessie switch um, input jack or Tessie input jack. See how it does. Looks pretty cool. It's got the um, I guess quick connect, whatever you call them, on the actual uh, jack here. Uh, blacked out, but that look cool on the guitar. So let's get that into play. Okay, so from what I can tell, I'm going to have to remove these and just solder this jack normally because I have to also solder these wires to it, so, so there's another way to do it that I don't know about. In order to get the kill switch on it too. Alright, here we go. Um, last time I installed a Bessie switch I had to drill this hole a little bigger here um, to get all these extra wires in. We'll see how this one goes. Get the drill bit and try to make this hole a little bigger here. Not ideal, but I think that's what we need to do. Before we do that, let's see. If we Alright, so now I gotta take the bridge off to put the ground on the bridge. I forgot to do that, so hopefully, won't fuck the paint up. Here we go. I'm just all right.
Alright, so now I'm gonna be putting the tuners on. And to replace the tuners, I got these cool um, Tone Ninja tuners, locking tuners. They're supposed to be a direct replacement for the Ibanez um, RGA um, tuners, which if you can see, they look pretty much identical. They just got the um, locking mechanism there. Got the same pegs that go in. Um, and they were about $50 cheaper than the hip shot locking tuner, so I thought I'd give them a try. So here we go. Something else kind of cool with the um, eight string set, looks like they added, uh, this is the box, that's the six strings, and then they added two extra, and I want to say they already got them pre-drilled out to um, 86 gauge, so we'll see, that's true, I'm not using, I think the heavy string I'm using is 86, but that's still pretty cool, so yeah. See how they do. These were super easy to install. Um, this went right in those existing holes. I think it looks pretty awesome. I like the little logo they got. This little ninja was made out of music notes. It looks like um, looks like it'll work pretty solid. Yeah, it's just got to put the string through there and you roll that. And put the string through, twist it back, lock it in place. So she's done. So we'll see how they hold up. Like I said, they're about um, 50 bucks cheaper than the hip shot. So just depending on you can trust this brand or not, pretty awesome. Get some strings on it now so we can test the pickups out. I got some strings from String Source, the String Source um, custom made string set, and they put my name on it. It's pretty dope. Um, went with 10 to 80 because I'm gonna do the first six strings, um, tune down a full step, and a drop C on the sixth string, and then I'm gonna drop the eighth string also. So I went normally I use 74 tune into even drop E on an eight string so I chose 80 on this so let's see how it goes. And they gave me a free pick also that's pretty awesome. Alright here we go.
Alright guys, here it is, the completed Ibanez RG8 Pour Paint Mod Project Guitar. It is finally done after a lot of hard work. Um, I think it turned out awesome. I'd like to give a big shout out to my wife for doing this pour paint. Um, she picked the colors for it and did it and I think she did an amazing job. She even put some um, like sparkle colors in it that turned out really cool. They kind of sparkle when you look at them close. I don't know if you can see that in that camera. Um, and also a big shout out to Diego at Gorilla Pickups for making these amazing looking and sounding pickups. Um, I really like how they match the hardware of this hip shot bridge. It's just a direct replacement bridge, real easy to install, just four screws. I also took the volume knob out, put it where the tone knob was, deleted the tone knob, and then I added a Tessie kill switch that lights up on um, purple. And this is just the amethyst knob I got off of Amazon. Um, Three-way switch. This has got a push pull on it for a coil tap or coil split. Um, went with some Toll Ninja locking tuners. So far they're working great, staying in tune really good. Uh, let's see. Got a new input jack on it. It's black, I think it looks cool. Didn't do the bridge yet, I bought a, I mean the nut yet, I bought a nut for it. Um, just so ready to get it up and playing. But it, this nut's doing fine. I may put the new nut on when I change strings. Um, went with a set of string source strings. They feel great and sound great. Um, but just, yeah, just overall, just a really fun project. Super excited with how it turned out. Uh, a couple things I would have done different. The paint we used was some older paints we had. Um, and the flow of trawl was older that we mixed the paints with. It, so it's got some clumps kind of in it you can't really see it but you can feel it um, so not a big deal also clear coating I used some stuff it was like 2x something from Lowe's and it took a long time to cure and I probably wouldn't use it again it was kind of some cheaper stuff um, and I think I clear coated it when it was too hot outside so I got some runs in it I don't know if you can see that, but from far away you can't really see it, so it still looks pretty awesome to me. Got the uh, Ibanez logo on there, white, I think it turned out really cool, looks real cool with the paint. Um, but just overall, super happy with how everything turned out. Yep, there it is, and we'll have some tone demos coming soon, so you guys can hear how this thing sounds. Rock on.